Yeah, this is uh, another part of the lacrosse program right here in Uganda. The, the so junior, you know, like the junior lacrosse players, the hopeful ones that are trying to learn how to use the ball and the stick. We are very grateful that because uh, uh, about two days in a week, every week, these juniors come out to be able to learn how to use a stick and a ball. It is very great for the continuity of the game and for us to be able to position ourselves in every segment of the world across community. Uh, with the people this age trying to learn how to play the game, you're basically always sure that there, is, there will always be an ambassador at every age limit. We have players right here of 10, 11, 12, and you know it is always great to see uh, an upcoming generation of different of a different seed you know girls boys coming together to learn and to learn by themselves it probably also builds the confidence like one naomi who is right now conducting the, conducting the training she's leading the park like uh, Naomi is also about 10, 12 years, 11, but she's confidently trying to teach all the other fellas how to catch and throw the ball. That is one way we can ensure that we are growing at all sectors. We are growing the leaders, the, the, the coaches, the captains, and the players who can be able to help other players to, to learn one thing or the other. We are very thankful to everyone supporting this program, the Uganda Lacrosse program. Uh, this is to show you that we are actually making use of the support and we are hoping that the, these small, small lacrosse projects will one day grow and be robust. And uh, of course, to begin is the magic and continuity is uh, what every persistent sportsman dreams about. We are very thankful of your time and uh, giving us a chance to learn and share the spirit of this great game. And for me and now me, we say bye-bye.